how did you enjoy your first test for four years? Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, everything I expected and, and um, a few things went my way and a few things didn't. So um, there's plenty to build on for next week, but I'm just uh, pretty excited still and um, pretty cool to be back in the jersey. Have a few nerves having you know, been out for that long? Uh, yeah, there's a there's a few. I guess just getting on the bus and um, I was just trying to soak up the atmosphere. And but once I got um, into the game and a few few carries, um, I was pretty pretty good and ready to go. Yeah. David, at the start of the Super Rugby season, you, you said you felt you're preferred in the position you play best as fullback. Is that still the same, or is that slowly changing? I think um, it's slowly changing, but um, it's good it's good for me to have those you know those strings to, to my bow as well. So. I think um, at the moment, playing in the midfield is my main focus. Um, but yeah, um, 15 still an option for me as well. What are the, some some of the main things you, you felt have, have got you from you know being I guess a villain at 12 for the Crusaders to, to now being chosen at 12 for the All Blacks? I think just uh, um, playing regularly in that in that position. Um, over the years, I've jumped in and out of positions, and um, it's been good to be able to focus on one. And um, get consistent performances together throughout the throughout the Super Rugby, and then hopefully I can you know keep doing that in, in this international level. Just what was that physicality and intensity like that the Fijians brought last night? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know a lot higher than Super Rugby, but they they play with a lot of passion as well. And I thought um, at times um, you know we matched it as well, and um, yeah, I enjoyed that, and it was a good challenge for me. Have you played with um, Rico last night? But um, I think Anton's back in the match training this week. Have you played with him in the midfield before? Um, never played with Anton before, but look, it's um, it's exciting for me to play with those guys. Like you play against them all year, and to be able to play um, with them and try build those connections moving forward and try grow those um, I guess those relationships through the midfield is going to be key for me. So. Yeah, anything I can do to, to grow them with both of those or whatever the selection process is, I'm, I'm happy to do. Obviously, Jason Ryan, you know him well, and he was up in the coach's box last night. Did you see glimpses of him, though, in the way the Fijians played last night? Were you like, that's something out of his textbook? Yeah, I guess definitely driving more was a big big factor. Um, yeah, Jason's like an extremely proud man of, of, of what he does, and um, you could see that in, in his expressions in the box. But, yeah, I could, had a good chat to him. Um, last night it was cool to see what he's done with their, their team and it's just good to catch up with them, yeah. So obviously four years between times of wearing the black jersey, what is it that got you back to this point do you think and what was your main drivers over that time? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I think it, for me it was just didn't want to didn't want to leave too early and um, not look back on my career and think what if. So it was about me think weighing out what was important and um, staying in New Zealand, I thought that I saw it a lot of time left in the in New Zealand rugby, and yeah, chasing that black jersey was a, a massive goal of mine. What's some of that? Like, is are they resilient moments when you look at you know the time between then and now? There's you know there's a number of injuries, and then I guess being switched around positions. Like, what, what sort of mindset do you take into those occasions? Yeah, it was it was pretty tough at the time, but um. You know, I had a pretty good support staff around me. Um, you know, with my mum, um, my partner Lucy, and a um, couple of flatmates, George and Evie. So it's it was it was tough at the time, but you know, running out last night definitely made worth, all worthwhile. So I'm still buzzing a bit to to be back in the jersey, but I'm extremely excited for what's to come.